Hello everybody and welcome back to Sweet and Crafty. Mama Z is here. Today we are going to transform this flat rock into Gru from Minions, The Rise of Gru. And I'm going to be painting on top of this rock with my acrylic markers. Here they are. I'll be honest with you, I've painted on the rocks in the past, but I've never done character on the rock. So let's see how it's going to work out. I prepared the mat to protect my working space. Obviously I got the rock. I like this shape and it's nice and flat. I have my acrylic markers and I also have a little palette to test the markers. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing what I think I'm gonna do is draw the outline of Gru using the black marker. Okay, so this is the rough sketch. <laughs> and let me tell you, it's not that bad. So here's the, you know, sketch. And then here is the picture I was looking at. There are a few details that look a little bit different, but I think it will be uh, looking better once I fill in the rock with all the colors needed. Gru's hair is almost black, but I think I still see some brown tones. So I'm going to start with this brown color and then I'm going to add all the low lights. Next, I have this dark gray color and I'm going to color in his suit. Realistically, it's okay if I go over the black lines just like I just did, but um, it's better not to color the lines almost like, you know, when you color in the coloring book. If we color the black lines, I'll just make myself more work and I will have to outline everything all over again. And who has time for that? Come on now. I did the base coat with this dark gray marker, but as you can see, I went over many lines and I will absolutely need to outline everything once again. But for now, I am gonna use, let's see, this one, perhaps this color and a little bit more black color and add some shadows and details to his suit. The same two colors, I'm going to paint his pants. To be honest with you, I was planning to draw Gru standing up with his feet, but I totally ran out of space.
Next, I'm taking this super light gray color. Actually, I think it's silver. And I'm going to alternate colors on Gru's scarf with this light gray slash silver <laughs> and black. Changed my mind and decided to use another marker. This one is actually light gray color. This way we don't have, uh, you know, silver details in his scarf because his scarf is light gray and black. And next we are going to fill in the rest of the little rectangle details on his scarf with black. His shirt under his jacket is white. With these acrylic markers, it takes some time to develop the color. I gotta keep shaking the marker for the color to come out. But also, I can layer the colors. This way, we're gonna get nice, thick coat. There is also one small detail on his sleeve right here. We also need to color in with white. All right, next, let's go ahead and color his skin. Well, this took only about 40 minutes, <laughs> just kidding, but it did take quite a while to fill in all the little areas. We are going to let it dry, and while waiting for the color to dry, I am gonna paint his eyes and his smile. Okay, next we gotta be very careful to paint his eyes. Adding black to the center of his eye. And super carefully adding white dot for the light reflection. I just noticed that Gru has tiny little freckles. So I think I'm gonna add little freckles to his cheeks. Alright, and last thing I have to do is just color the background and I'll be using this super light blue color. And I know it's going to take me a very long time. Good thing we have a fast forward button. And we are done. Here is Gru as the rock painting 
from Minions The Rise of Gru. I think I did a pretty good job, so let me know in the comments below if you think so also. This is the picture I was looking at and here is the final result. <laughs> I see the resemblance for sure. I'm going to let it dry and after that I'm going to seal it with this acrylic sealer matte finish. I could go ahead and use shiny finish, but I do prefer matte. But I am not going to be doing this inside of my studio. I will absolutely going to be spraying this rock outside. Let me know in the comments below which character I should paint on rock next. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye!